Good day everyone. My name is Kukola Meritislayo from Kwara State University. I am a finalist in the Department of Medical Laboratory Science and I'm here to give you all a tidbit about what Medical Lab Science is all about. Medical Laboratory Science, so to say, is just the science of diagnosis. It is concerned with the collection of samples, examination and diagnosis to tell your doctor what is wrong with you. Now, for example, when you go to see your doctor, you complain of what is wrong and then they have an idea but they are not sure. So to confirm, they write out tests for you to carry out, which you bring to our lab. That is where we work. And then we we collect samples depending on the test that you want to carry out. And it undergoes some processing for us to know exactly what is wrong. Now, medical laboratory science is a part of healthcare that is not always seen. Most of the time, we are behind the scenes. And if you ask anybody, they man that are basically not in the healthcare services at all, majority of them don't know who we are or what we do in the lab. Now, the role of medical laboratory scientists is that we get, like I said earlier, we help your doctor help you. Now, how do we do this? When your doctor has an idea of what is wrong with you he needs to confirm he needs confirmation that is where we come in now when the doctor has an idea he brings that he he takes down a series of tests that needs to be done to confirm whether or not you have this whether or not you have that and then you have to bring the test to us wherein we will collect your sample depending on exactly what it is the doctor wants to find out now the sample collected is processed through different processes in the labs now, these processes will enable the scientists to know what is wrong and how to report, thereby giving you results that, will give, that you will give back to your doctor, that will benefit to your doctor in diagnosing exactly what is wrong with you. A lab is a place that is equipped with various biomedical instruments that helps to examine and provide a diagnosis for a patient. Medical laboratory science is divided into various specialties, some of which include hematology, medical microbiology and parasitology, chemical pathology, transfusion science, serology, immunology, and histopathology. Now, each of these specialties deal with different parts of the body, so they collect different samples. Medical microbiology now deals with finding out different kinds of infections, be it um, bacterial infections, viral infections, parasitic infections or fungal infections within the body. Hematology is a branch of medical laboratory science that makes use of blood or blood products to diagnose diseases in the person. Now, examples of such tests can include compatibility testing such as cross-matching, blood group tests. Um, for paternity tests, you can have genotype testing and then to check for infections in body can do a complete blood count or a full blood count. Histopathology involves the diagnosis and study of tissue diseases and it makes use of human tissue as a specimen. Tissue is processed and then put under the microscope to view and determine what is wrong with the person and create a diagnosis and give out the results. Chemical pathology is a branch that deals with the use of bodily fluids such as urine or blood to determine the body's changes in chemistry. Now, examples of analyzing the body that could be checked include calcium, you have urea, you have creatinine, you have glucose, you have potassium, etc. An increase or a decrease in any of these analyses detected using the chemical pathology test to give your physician a diagnosis and a result of what is wrong with you. As a medical laboratory scientist, where can you work? We can work in hospitals, we can work in research institutes, we can work with non-governmental organizations, we can work in private labs, we can also work in specialist diagnostic centers, and many more. We can basically work in any factor of the healthcare that deals with diagnosis and investigation. Laboratory equipment used in the lab include autoclaves, a refrigerator, a normal centrifuge and a micro hematopoietic centrifuge, a full blood count machine, a microscope, a spectrophotometer, an incubator, a water bath, a flame photometer, 
an, an anaerobic jar, the anaerobic chamber, and many more. These are just a few of what we can tell you about medical laboratory science. In subsequent videos on the channel, we will go in deeper into different departments and different use of the equipment. Once again, my name is Kupala Meritis and thank you for watching our video.